Hello everyone, I'm Grim Gracious. Welcome to another Squishy unboxing. Since my last one got a lot of views, I would like to make it perfectly clear that this will also be part review, and I'm going to be completely honest in my opinions about them down to the last detail, so anyone interested in buying these Squishies in the future know everything they can before spending their money on them. I admit, I'm not the bubbliest YouTuber out there, but Grim is in the name, so if that's not your thing, this may not be the channel for you. With that out of the way, let's get started. I will simply be showing them off the first half, then adding in my grim and gracious opinions, as well as any other information I deem important at the end. Hello everyone, welcome to another squishy unboxing. This is from Delightful Boutique, and it has a lot of kind of big ticket squishies that I wanted, and thankfully Delightful Boutique had in stock at the same time. So without further ado, let me just open these up. So the first thing I see here is a thank you note, and I will open that later. And it looks like an extra, so I will open that later as well. First up is Mummy. It's not Halloween in anymore, unfortunately. I can't control how fast this gets to me. But I did order both Cutie Creatives Mummy and Tummy Squishies. I love, 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 love Halloween stuff. When I saw that they were making Halloween squishies, I freaked out. Oh my gosh. So here he is in all his glory. He's got some paint splatter. His bandages are super textured. He's got the green line, which um, I've been told is glow in the dark. I love the little paint, um, paint, <laughs> blood splatter <laughs> is what it's meant to be. I love the detail and he fits so snugly in your hand. I think that's fun. And he fits in a way that um, you can hold his body in the palm of your hand while squishing his head, which is a complete round shape. It's not just round on the front and flat on the back. And he's super squishy. He does have kind of a melon smell. It smells really good. Next up is Tummy. He is the bread looking doll, voodoo doll thing. Here's another look at the packaging. It has the cutie creative licensing on the back and all that stuff. And here is Tummy. He is the exact same size and shape of Mummy, except he's obviously a different sign. Super soft. Has a little stitched heart there, very cute. Super cute. Next, I'm going to pick the Chawa Watermelon. I was so excited for this. Here's the packaging. It has a little girl saying Papa Fa. I don't know what that means. Do not eat Chawa logo and all that stuff. So here's the watermelon. It has a very flat design. There's no texture on anything. It's just the paint. Solid paint jog. Huh, interesting. I kind of smell watermelon, but I mainly just smell plastic, which is surprising for reasons that I will explain later. Next is the Chawa Melon. Cute packaging. Just wanted to show you all a really good shot of the texture. That's incredible. Can you imagine painting in between all of these um, molds and crevices? And it's super squishy. As expected of Chawa. Super duper squishy. I like how the stick's squishy too. Very slow rising. <laughs> Finally got my hands on the cutie creative mango. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So beautiful. 
It has a metallic paint job, that's interesting, um, because, you know, the Aridi one looks exactly like this, and I think they use the same mold because it has the, the same voids at the top. I'm sorry, I really should be saving this for the end. <laughs> Here, I'll just show you all the squishy. Very, very squishy. As expected as well of Cutie Creative, they are really nice with their squishies. Their formula is fantastic. Look at that. It's crazy. It actually smells exactly like the Aridi Mango. Just something to point out. Fantastic. I'm so happy to have this finally. And they do come in a bunch of different colors. Down to the wire. Um, I just got a bunch of small things as well. This is just a little Hello Kitty keychain thing. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because it's more of a collector's item that I wanted. Um, I saw it a long time ago in a video and I just wanted it. And like the Hello Kitty head comes out from the inside and kind of dangles because it has a keychain on it. There's a tag. I just think it's cute. And looks very yummy. I also saw that they had more of these um these like tofu play toys that I'm really really fond of so I got two one in the um, kind of typical color that I already have and I've seen everywhere and then one in the reddish color and these feel actually much squishier than the old ones I've gotten so that's fantastic. I love it already. But I'm not going to take it out of the packaging yet because um, they do get dirty really fast. And the paint chips off, so there's just a look at the gacha. They are gacha pawn um, squeeze toys, so you get them in Japan from these little vending machine things. I just think they're fantastic. That's why I always buy them. <laughs> they're just really fun. Happy to have those. So in addition to my receipt and a thank you note, they also sent some Mamegoma memo pads, some sumigudashi. Oh, I love those. Those are so cute. And here's their business card again. I, um, I don't think I need to show that because I will show all of the information necessary in the description. And there's a sticker that I found falling. Here is another one. Where'd it go? Found it. So these are all little tiny extras. Thank you so much, Delifu Boutique. These are super cute. And then finally, they also sent me this, which I was surprised by. This is a pretty good squishy to have. It is one of those um, mochi squishies. Eek. And it's one of the pretty ones. I've always wanted to get one, but they were so expensive for just a little mochi toy. And this says it is peach scented. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I don't want all the Potter stuff to go away. No! Oh, it already came off. This actually does smell like pe peach candy, but um, the, the plastic smell of the actual stretch toy kind of overpowers it. But it's still really fun. Ooh, what is that? That's interesting. But I love it. Thank you so much, Delightful Boutique. Now here comes for the part everyone hates, my opinions. So first off, my gracious opinions. I think all of these are fantastic. They're super squishy. They're super fun to have. The design, the squishiness, they're all fantastic. My grim opinions would have to be um, starting from the top, the Cutie Creative dolls. I do worry that their heads are really big. Um, if you try to hold them just by their bodies, their heads kind of collapse on itself. And if you're a big squisher, I, I just fear that it might rip off at some point. So for that reason, I'm going to keep them in their packaging just because um, they are one of the few squishies that I consider very collectible and very cute that I just don't want to ruin them ever. Going to the right, the Cutie Creative Mango is exactly the same as the Aridi Mango. I'm not going to say much because I do have a mango comparison planned. So for now, I'll just say that um, it's very similar to the Aridi Mango that if you're looking for a mango squishy, uh, it's probably cheaper to go with the cheaper alternative. Um, but again, I will save that for the mango comparison. Going down to the Chawa watermelon, I was actually very disappointed with it. I was expecting a lot because it was watermelon and I was really excited for a water watermelon squishy. First off, it's very flat. I was not expecting that. There's no texture 
Um, and that wouldn't have bothered me if not for the fact that the squishiness is not as squishy as I was expecting of Chawa. And that's my problem because I always have expectations. So I should really stop doing that. <clears throat> but um, my main problem with it is that it doesn't smell like watermelon. It smells like plastic. And that's just very shocking to me because um, every Chawa squishy I've gotten is really, really scented. And I really like their scents. And while we're on that topic, <laughs> we'll move on to the melon squishy. The melon squishy is fantastic. It smells like melon. However, it smells like soap melon. It smells like shampoo. And if that's not your style, it's not mine, you're not gonna like it. it smells like that give me a headache and that's just me. If you like smells like that, then it's perfect. It's perfect for you. But if you prefer the more natural scented squishies, then it's not gonna fit to your taste. So just keep that in mind if you ever come across this and feel like purchasing it. Moving on to the mochi squishies, I have no problems with them. I think they're fantastic. They're perfect. Uh, they're super cheap, so I don't really have much to say about them. And then finally to the free mochi squishy, I don't have any complaints about that either. It was free and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I, I hope I helped some of y'all decide to buy these or not, or I just entertained y'all for no reason. Um, thank you to Delightful Boutique for the extras and the free squishy. Thank you so much um, for great customer service and having all of these in stock. That's my biggest problem with buying squishies. Not a lot of stores have the stuff I want in stock at the same time. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.